This next story takes us to Green Bay, Wisconsin for the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. Jeff. That's right, that's Eddie Lacy, a guy who a year ago was being hailed as arguably the best running back in the draft. He ended up falling to the second round, and a lot of people were surprised by that. What Eddie Lacy did was he went to Green Bay and reminded people of what made him special in the first place. So he actually did some things that people didn't expect, but if you looked at his, his life and knew about Eddie Lacy, you could see this coming. A small trailer in Geismer, Louisiana. For eight years, it's the place that Green Bay Packers running back Eddie Lacy called home. But it's more than a home. It was and still is his motivation. Inside, on his bedroom door, hangs this sign. A simple goal that has driven Lacy since the day his family moved in. Get as the Lacey leaps the middle of the line to the end zone. Touchdown! And the Packers have the lead! That drive made the 5'11", 230-pound running back the NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2013. You know, Andy Lacey, talented runner. He's a big back. He doesn't waste steps. He has a, you know, a, a, a very good spin move, particularly for a big guy. Lacey downhill, right side, <laughs> spin move. That spin move has become his trademark. It's a bit of improvisation that is symbolic of his life. I can get through anything, any obstacle. After, you know, everything I've been through, I, I just know that only I can stop me. Eddie Lacy grew up in Gretna, Louisiana, just across the river from New Orleans. He was the third of four children in a tight-knit middle-class family. His mother, Wanda, is a nurse. His father, Eddie Sr., is an operating room technician. How did he get involved in football? I guess that was just a natural thing. Uh, his brothers played. He followed their lead, and one thing led to another, and he just loved it. I started when I was six. How'd you wind up being a running back? I guess running away from people is better than hitting people. He did both. And by the time he was a freshman in high school in 2005, he had earned a spot on the varsity football team. Relentless, pounding the rain, crashing in, sustained in. Sustained in. Sustained in. Sustained in. utter devastation. City officials predict scores of people are dead. Houses and apartment buildings were decimated by Katrina. August 29th, 2005. Hurricane Katrina pounds the Gulf Coast. With sustained winds of 125 miles per hour, it is one of the most powerful storms to hit the U.S. in a century. Nearly 2,000 dead. Over a million people displaced, including the Lacey family. They fled to a relative's house in Texas. Two weeks later, they were allowed to return home. When we got there, it was such a silence. There were no birds in the sky, the trees were gone, and it was such an eerie feeling. It was like a war zone. It was devastating, and like it was painful. You could see everything we had, and it was basically all messed up. They had like mold and stuff everywhere. It smelled, a disgusting smell. Going back and seeing it for the first time is kind of when I stopped having feelings. What do you mean? I basically became, like, emotionless. What the storm did not destroy in the Lacey house, looters took. In the aftermath of the hurricane, his parents were without jobs and moved the family between Louisiana and Texas, sometimes staying in hotels, other times with relatives. People would call us, like, refugees and things like that, so that didn't make him feel good. And he would just hold it in. And I'm like, you, I'm good. I'm OK, Mom. No, it's not. Because I could see on your face where you're hurting. Lacey's parents eventually found work. By December of 2005, after four months with no real home, Lacey's family finally found a place they could afford. We pull up to this trailer. 
and I walk in my room, you know, it's a real small place. And I was like, oh, I don't like this at all. It was just the size of it or just what, Just what being in the trailer, like? period. Lacey set a goal, a plan to get out. As a daily reminder, he taped a sign on his door. The impact was felt beyond his bedroom. Football went from being fun to me to like being angry. His junior season in 2007, Lacey ran for 1,800 yards and 26 touchdowns and was named first team all state. His senior year, major college programs, including LSU and Oklahoma, came calling. He chose Alabama and took his first major step towards a new life. I could be where I want to be, and you know, I'm in my comfort zone. It was just a lot of fun. In 2012, as a junior, Lacey got his chance to start. Goes across the field. He's to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. How about that? In the final nine games of the regular season, Lacey averaged over 100 all-purpose yards. Then, on January 7, 2013, the national title game. Lacey, the running back at the 5. He spins to the 3, twirls into the end zone. Crimson Tide touchdown again. On college football's biggest stage, Lacey ran for 140 yards and scored two touchdowns in a 42-14 route of the previously undefeated Fighting Irish. Four days later... After talking to my parents and sitting down and talking to Coach Saban, I decided to enter the draft this year. When you decided to leave school, what was the biggest factor? My family. Most importantly, my parents and my little sister. Analysts projected he would be the first running back taken, so Lacey attended the NFL draft in New York. But no running backs were selected on day one. On day two, instead of waiting, Lacey flew back to Alabama. As soon as his plane landed, his phone rang. You know, they were like, are you tired of the wait? And I was like, yeah, you know, it's a little stressful. And it was like, well, you know, it's the Green Bay. We, um, you know, we have a minute left on the clock and we want to pick you. With the 61st pick of the 2013 NFL Draft, and he late. a team from Titletown, USA, they have selected Eddie Lacy, yeah! running back from Alabama. Lacy won the starting job in training camp and quickly proved to be a huge steal. He ran for 1,178 yards scored 11 touchdowns, and became the first Green Bay rookie running back to reach the Pro Bowl in 42 years. Touchdown, Eddie Lacy! Now that Lacy has arrived in the NFL and is armed with a four-year, $3.4 million contract, he plans to finish what he started. Lacy says he plans to move his family out of their trailer in the next two years, leaving behind the plan that has driven him since Hurricane Katrina changed the path of his life nine years ago. What will it mean to be able to give back to them, given everything they've given you? It'll mean a lot, um, because I mean, they sacrificed so much for me, and I feel like there's no comparison, but just knowing, knowing that I'm able to give back to them and, you know, whatever they need. And the trailer's gonna be gone. Yeah, that, man, what? That trailer out of here. <laughs>